God. Uh, I've been writing since I was a teenager and I enjoy it very much. I've known Anne for 22 years. Um, when we first met at uh, Borders Books and Music, she's a wonderful teacher. The name of my story is Midlife Crisis. Everyone has a favorite band they grew up listening to. My all time favorite is the Australian rock band ACDC. After work one evening, my friend Jagger and I sat at the bar area of RJ's Bar and Grill on Long Island. A concerned look crossed over Jagger's face. What's wrong, Winston? My computer programming job is still stressing me out, I murmured, looking at my hands. That's not the only thing bothering me, Jagger. What else is going on? Rosie finally signed the divorce papers. My blue eyes glanced over at Jagger. Plus, I am turning 50 in November. Wow, Jagger threw his arms up in the air. I know just the perfect cure to help you get over your midlife crisis. What is it? We should take a road trip to California, said Jagger. ACDC is played at the Staples Center on your birthday. I just shook my head. I can't, man. I have too many responsibilities at my job. You are a workaholic. Jagger patted me on the back. Winston, laugh life is passing you by. Our friendship goes back to when we were, we were college roommates at CW Post College. Jagger was always the wild, adventurous type, while I, was more, while I was more a reserved kind of guy. Our different personalities complemented each other. I realized I couldn't pass it up, this up. All right, I'll go to California with you. Jack ordered us two beers, in the words of ACDC, have a drink on me. <laughs> <laughs> I just laughed. At home the next day, I played all my ACDC remastered CDs as I dug out my old, all my old uh, posters and other collectibles in the whole closet. Going through the memorabilia brought me back to my rebellious teenage years. MTV was all the rage back in the 80s. At the time, I was a 13-year-old latchkey kid to a single mom who worked nights. MTV was my only source of comfort. When I came home from school one day, I turned on the channel to see the ACDC video, You Shook Me All Night Long. From then on, I was hooked. As Jagger and I made plans for our trip, I became excited. Finally, our departure day, day arrived. Jagger pulled up, crank up, highway the house. <laughs> As I jumped into the car, we both sang, living easy, living free, as we got excited for our journey. As we made our way across the United States, we made, we made some memories and had some fun. We stopped in Chicago to visit the Sears Tower. Just before we reached our destination, we gambled our way through casinos in Las Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. The day of the concert, Jagger and I checked into a hotel room. We rested up and grabbed some dinner a few hours before the show. I can't believe we're here, I said as we entered the Staples Center. ACDC robbed the arena that night. During a set, Jack and I smoked a joint. I felt like a teenager again. We partied until 3 a.m. It was one of the best times of my life. <laughs> <laughs>